right guys so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at my everyday carry for my ipad pro workflow setup everything i need to edit videos thumbnails and photos is all in this tomtalk pad folio case so let's take a look at what's inside now the good thing about this case well there's more than one is um, you've got a carry carry strap on the side so you can just carry it like a briefcase or whatever and then you've got you've got a super nice zip on it so opening and closing is very easy it's a hard case so you can be assured that if you do drop it for whatever reason it drops out of your hands uh, you know that the stuff inside won't get damaged and then it just looks really really nice with this black and grey combination that they've gone with and I guess that is for that let's open it up and see what's inside so as we open it up we are greeted with a huge pocket in here as you can see and you can open it from this side or this side and I think that's the majority to put stuff inside here so it doesn't fall out so that's why you've got this one here I don't use this at the minute I don't have anything to put in there but on here let's begin from the bottom and then let's go to the top so bottom right hand We've got my SanDisk USB-C to USB-A um, 128 gigabyte USB stick. So what this is, is on one side you've got USB-C for all your devices that have got USB-C connection. On the other side you've got USB-A for all your devices that have got USB-A connection. So this comes in very handy when you're trying to transfer files from computers, uh, iPads, mobile phones, and it comes with 128 gigabytes of storage in this small package so can't really complain with that I think it's under like $20 so that's definitely a must-have the I do have to mention the USB side can be a bit finicky sometimes um, which doesn't click in but more often than not it does work and when it works it works great um, so you, you can see you've got multiple number of compartments in this section here is just hold my cables so what I always do, I always have with me one extra short USB-C cable just for like the power bank or charging brick just to have one extra on hand and then one very long one this one is by ESR so USB-C to USB-C very high quality cable um, in here just because I didn't want to have a USB hub in here because although you do need one of them I've got a combination of now all this is is the USB C to USB A to USB C adapter that comes with Google Pixel phones. Um, I have got the Samsung one as well, but that's quite a bit bulkier, so I decided to just carry the Google one. And on here I've got a USB A memory card reader, so I can read micro SD and SD cards if I need to. Um, that's very good for on the go, and I can just plug this into this and then just pop that into my iPad and then put a memory card in there and we're good to go for at home so if I'm at home and not on the go then I will just plug in a normal USB hub just like this with plenty of USB ports HDMI ports memory card ports etc but obviously when I'm on the go I don't want to be carrying too much stuff on here we've got power adapter so this is the samsung power adapter very small and thin and then this pops out for the uk plug uh, i believe it is a i think it's either a 20 or 25 watt adapter i'm not quite sure but it does charge my all my devices quite quickly and it's usb-c in so that's the benefit on here i've got this super nice power brick by a company called nimble so i've got quite a few of their products like um, cables and wireless charger and etc benefit of this is I can charge in and out USB-C and then I've got two USB-A ports I can charge and one of them is a fast charge and when you press it, it tells you how much battery you have left which I need to charge so this compartment here very conveniently fits my AirPod Pros which have been for the longest time my favorite earphones ever just because of the sound quality and the noise cancellation combination 
Um, the noise cancellation on these is insane, and for, especially for something of this size. I've used noise cancellation on big earphones before, but to have it on something that size is very beneficial. And on here you can see you've got two pen slots. Um, you can put your Apple Pencil in there if you want, but I'll show you why I don't in a bit later. Uh, I've got a Sharpie, because you never know when you might need a Sharpie. It's always come in handy. And then I've just got a standard pen as well there, because you never know when you might need that. Also, you've got another pocket in here, but I'm not using it. Um, let's move on. And in here, you can see that on this side, you've got this super soft, like microfiberish material, so you don't scratch your iPad. And then your iPad fits in here. This yellow bit just goes over it to hold it in, and then you can take it out. And if you notice that this is made for the iPad 12.9 in this case, but I've got the Logitech Slim Folio keyboard cover on my iPad as well which expands it out a little bit and that still fits in here very nicely and I've even got the Apple Pencil on the side so even with that it fits in here very nicely so you've got a lot of room in there to um, for your iPad I say. and this is why I don't put my pen Apple Pencil in that slot because I keep my Apple Pencil on the side of my iPad ready to go so guys that was my everyday carry um, if you're interested about any of the items on here there'll be a link in the description box below and i will have a bunch more items coming out in the video very soon about a uh, holiday gift guide so look out for that if you enjoyed this video if it helps you in any way consider subscribing down below hit that like button and hit that notification bell to be notified when my new videos come out and that was that catch you guys on the next one